Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Dan Schaefer. And I'm Naja Sherman. We talked to parents and students in the district after they learned the shift to virtual learning starts Monday. Way 31's Will Robinson Smith joins us live outside the school board office. He spoke with administrators, administrators and found out what families need to know. Will. Yeah, that's right. That virtual shift will start on Monday, run throughout all of next week to the end of this semester. And then next semester, the first two weeks, students will be learning virtually. And school leaders say that this was the best decision given the recent spike in COVID cases they've seen. You know, we all have to be really, I guess the word of the day is fluid. Parent Melissa McCool is one of thousands across the city of Decatur who learned her daughter would be learning virtually next week and the start of the next semester after the holidays. Right now, 822 students are in quarantine, along with 109 faculty members. I totally get it. I do not wish for anybody to sit in the seat as the decision makers on this one. It's really hard, but the numbers are not great. Superintendent Dr. Michael Douglas says there's evidence of spread within some schools, and the rate of spread was alarming. The idea is to get zero positives, so I don't mind quarantining 800, but... I mean, we went up 30 positives this week, and, uh, you know, it just seems irresponsible uh, to continue that. So that's why we made the transition. McCool's eldest daughter, Elizabeth, says she doesn't mind going virtual, but hopes this won't impact spring sports. I was kind of excited, <laughs> but also I just, I don't want it to get in the way of my soccer season and my sports. Athletic Director Walt Parker assured that despite the pause on in-person learning, winter sports would largely go on, but with some additional restrictions. We've been very, very conscious of our numbers in all of our events, and so we're even going to reduce those a little bit more. Uh, and he just continue with our cleaning, continue with our separation, continue with our guidance. And as parents across Decatur prepare for the virtual shift, mothers like Jennifer Pumphrey says she and her friends are trying to get ready to help their children as best they can. It's hard for a lot of parents too. It's overwhelming sometimes, but it's the safest thing at this point to do so that maybe come January we can eventually get back to school and get back to new normal. <laughs> The school lead nurse says right now 70 students and staff members are positive with COVID-19. Fortunately, though, they say that the students, on the most part, only have minor or no symptoms right now. Reporting live in Decatur, Will Robinson-Smith, Way 31 News.